Hey everyone, so a few months ago I posted a uh, video where I showed you how I do the um, multiple photo swipe technique on Instagram and um, since I posted that I actually learned a better way to do it from Danny who is MarvelousDS55 on Instagram. So if you uh, don't follow him already make sure you head over to his page and give him a follow. He's a really great photographer but he actually came up with a easier way to do this in Photoshop and so I'm gonna what I'm gonna show you is um, how to make an action because I'm assuming if you're gonna do this once you're gonna want to do it multiple times so I'm gonna do kind of what I did in that other video and show you how to do an action but we're gonna do it his way and it's gonna be actually a lot quicker so the first thing we want to do is we want to go up to window click on actions now you see right here we have our actions tab I'm gonna pull this over here just so it comes out um, so what we're going to do is we want to build a new action. So we're going to click right here, start new. We'll call this um, Instagram swipe. And then we're going to go ahead and hit record. And then what we want to do is everything that we do now is going to record and it's going to be able to be played over again. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to come over here. We want to grab our crop tool and we want to put in here two to one. Um, so what that's going to do is that's going to crop it two by one. That's going to give us two squares, which is the secret to this technique. Um, and you can change your, you can change how you want your crop. Let's say that's fine. So we'll go ahead and hit enter. Then where the magic comes in is we're going to click this tab again. We're going to go to the slice tool. And then we're going to right click in here and we're going to go divide slice. We want two divided vertically. So we'll click that. We'll click OK. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to file. We're going to go to export, save for web legacy. And then we're going to do our export settings that we do for saving to the web. So we're going to hit 2048. We're going to tab down. All that's good. Image quality is fine. JPEG's fine. So we're going to hit save. We'll name this swipe. And then we'll click save. So let's go ahead and stop our action. We'll go here. Let's go desktop. And if we go to the, it's going to put it on the desktop in an images folder. We can click in here and you can see that it saved those two images right there. So to see if our action worked, let's go back into it really fast. And one thing that I want to tell you is, let's make this a little bit bigger. So if we click on this, we want to click here. So this little box right here, that's going to give us a dialog box when we go to the crop and that's going to allow us to select our crop. So your image may not always necessarily be right in the middle or in the same spot as you did when you set up this action by clicking this button here. It's going to prompt the user to select where that crop is. So let's go to another image that I have that I haven't done this on. Let's say let's take this one really fast. So Let's go to the Instagram swipe thing. This would be collapsed. And then let's just go to play. Let's squeeze out. So as you can see, this photo was quite a bit smaller than that other one. So we'll just go in here. We'll scale this down. Put it right in there where we want that crop to be. And then we'll hit enter. And now if we go back to Finder, We'll go back to desktop, images, and then we have our two images. So really quick and easy. Um, his way of doing the slices is a much better technique. It's like anything in Photoshop. There's probably a hundred different ways to do any given task. Um, so this is kind of the cool thing about Photoshop is you kind of never stop learning. You always learn something new. And I watch videos all the time from other people and learn other techniques. And this is a, a perfect example of how 
somebody else's technique maybe quicker, maybe easier. Um, and then you combine this with the action and it's really, really quick. So hopefully this helps you. Uh, just a really quick video. So until next time, take care.